When you open up this evaporation um, write-up template, you'll see that there are some highlighted regions with brackets. Those are the only places you can type in this document to preserve formatting. So go ahead and fill all this information out. And then uh, procedure, make sure it's four sentences or less, summarizing up um, what you did in the lab. Reference figure one um, to help you uh, do this in four sentences or less. And then you enter your data in here your delta T is going to be based off of your data from the lab. When you um, look at your starting temperature, um, this is your T1. And so you can read this off the graph where you've got um, 22.8 for temperature 1. And you can read all these values off the graph right here. And you can get the starting temperatures of all your chemicals. And if you want to go to pentane, for example, you want to make sure it's the lowest point of pentane at the bottom, um, not at the end. So if you notice pentane, hexane, and methanol, you're going to go by the lowest point and not the end point. And it also looks like in this case, ethanol, the lowest point is not the last value. Going back to the write-up. Once you've entered in all your delta T's, you also want to make sure that you put in what you put for your predictions. And then the conclusion is where the majority of your grade is going to come from. So the first sentence should state the objective. And the objective, if you look on your packet, it'll be on one of the sentences in there. And then the second sentence lists out all the liquids, which the liquids are up here and then their change in temperatures. So what did you get? Ethanol's delta T, or change in temperature was this. It should be a negative number. All of them should be negative. Um, then the third sentence should explain the relationship between change in temperature and attraction between molecules. As the change in temperature um, increases, so there's a bigger change in temperature, then that means it evaporated and you'll say faster or slower um, and then um, that means that the attraction is and you would say greater or less than um, between molecules this and then you'd say this relationship exists because and you might say something like um, that if there's great attraction there's less likelihood that the molecules will go into gas phase and so it evaporates slower then there's the third sentence. Um, you conclude which uh, liquid has the highest attraction. So look through your experimental data um, and say, I um, believe that blank has the highest attraction between molecules because it had the, um, and then you reference your data, lowest delta T or highest delta T, whichever one. And then do that same thing for the one that had the lowest attraction between molecules. Then uh, the other paragraphs, the first sentence, um, alkanes and alcohols. If you don't know um, which ones are the alkanes and alcohols, look at your packet. Or um, the two alkanes are hexane and uh, um, pentane. So these are your two alkanes. If you notice the molecules on both of these, they do not have a red um, on them, and the red represents um, the oxygen um, atom. So look at all your alkanes and alcohols and list which ones are which. And then in the second sentence, compare change in temperature of an alkane and alcohol with similar, um, relatively similar molecular weights. So if you look up here, the, what they're asking for is for you to find a molecule that's an alkane and a molecule that's an alcohol that have relatively similar molecular weights and compare their delta T's to each other and then compare their um, relative attraction between molecules or make a conclusion about those. Then in the third sentence, um, uh, that's where you compare the attraction between alkanes and alcohols and reference the what the molecules look like what do you think caused one of those to have more of an attraction um, why does um, what's happening at the molecular level um, support your conclusion 
using the, the graph up above, um, right up here. This is the student graph um, right here. What What's the student data say? So if you look between the butanol, which is down here, and then your pentane, if you look at their change in temperature, um, the greater change in temperature, pentane had a much greater change in temperature than butanol. So what's that tell you about their relative attraction? Then um, the final sentence, um, conclude whether the OH and the alcohols make, um, make them have strong attraction or weaker attraction between molecules. Then the first sentence, if um, use figure two to explain the relationship between molecular weight and change in temperature. So you can only look between similar molecules. So in this case, you've got methanol, ethanol, propanol, which that's down here, and then you have butanol. So the trend, um, what's the trend as you look down at the, as the molecular weight increases, what happens to the change in temperature? and therefore what happens to the attraction between molecules. So why does, um, does a larger molecule evaporate slower? So explain why you think that might be. Then um, explain um, where you or other students in the cl class might have caused errors in this lab. What could you have done better um, to avoid these errors? This scenario back down here, you're gonna try and apply the understanding that you have above of um, something that a molecule whether it's one of these six or a made-up molecule that you think you could um, would cool down the um, computer components the quickest so when looking at your data you want to see one that cools it down the quickest um, and uh, will cool down the computer, therefore it can run a little bit faster. So make a, a molecule, choose one of these molecules and say, this might be another molecule that we did not test, but this is what the structure would look like. So can you extend what we learned and apply it? 